Hi everyone, it's Jen from Vine Styles. I hope you're doing well and that you're staying safe. Well, it's Friday and we're on to another feature, so let's just get into it. What we're going to be trying today is going to be the Clinker Brick Winery's uh, 2016 Brick Mason. I was going to do the tasting first, but um, because it sits in our bolt section and it tends to have a lot of heavier um, grapes in there, it's a big boy sort of wine, we're going to actually decant it while I talk because I talk forever, you just don't see it. I just edit out literally hours, hours of me talking. And then we're gonna come back and try it after it's been, uh, been decanting for about uh, 30 minutes to one hour. Okay, let's go. There you go. Okay, whoa, so as I'm about to decant this, I can already smell it coming out of the bottle, so I'm just gonna already think that it's pronounced because it's pretty pronounced coming out. Get as much oxygen exposure on there as possible. Bam! It didn't even throw any sediment. Actually, let's just sit, let this sit for about a half hour and then we'll get into the tasting, okay? So the Clinker Brick Winery is actually a sixth generation of grape growers. Steve and Lori Felton are the current owners and they are the fifth generation of grape growers. But today they're joined by their daughter, Farah Felton Jolly, who is the sixth generation. Another member of the team is Joseph Smith. He is the winemaker of the Clinker Brick since 2008. He started as an apprentice with Nico. Uh, family wines. Everybody there is instrumental and very important in the success of Clinker Brick Winery as well. The climate here is Mediterranean, meaning there's ample amounts of sunshine during the growing season. Uh, so a very long growing period uh, to allow the grapes to get ripe. That allows the grape to actually sit on the vine for a very, very long time. Have a proper balance of acidity, the sugars, the, the flavors, the concentration, and uh, also the tannins and everything in there as well. Um, and then rainfall during the winter seasons. Drought can be a problem and that's why irrigation is very important. Threat of wildfires has been incredibly threatening to California, which we have seen in the previous years due to climate change. And then for the soil, it is a deep sandy loam, so it allows the roots of the vines to dig in really deep to absorb the moisture below. Okay, so I can't not talk about history when I'm talking about Lodi. They're noted for old vine Zinfandel. Some of their vines are over a hundred years old. It's insane. So let's start getting into a little bit of history there. The colonial period, the US actually tried to cultivate vines and the vine that is used for winemaking is called Vitis vinifinaria. And unfortunately, they were unable to cultivate it in the United States. Then in the 19th century, they had a little bit more luck with some hybrid vines. So Vitis vinifinaria with another cross vine that may not be used for typical winemaking. Then, unfortunately, 1919 and 1930, uh, prohibition hit, and uh, that was really bad for the wine industry. They were only allowed to produce sacramental service type of wines. Like, so if you had a medical exemption, you're allowed to drink, or if you're doing a service with the blood of Christ or something, uh, you could um, also uh, serve it during that time too. The family here, they really wanted to focus on quality and so during this whole time they had an aim of producing top quality fruit. Actually, they started off with watermelons and then they started planting their vines in the early 1900s. And during that time, because uh, prohibition was just happening, they weren't allowed to really sell it to anyone so they had to actually export their grapes over into uh, the east coast of Canada for home uh, winemaking purposes. The, so when you, I talk about uh, ABA, and that just is the leading body for quality measures, right? Like how France has a PDO, so protected designation of origin, or Italy's DOC, the Denomination de Origin Controllata, um, it's all about producing quality driven wines. So Lodi was just divided into seven sub-region ABAs uh, in 2006. 
Here you tend to find the most world famous uh, Zinfandels. There's a little bit of a difference between some of the ages. So for it to be considered old vine Zinfandel, the vines must be over 50 years old, which is <laughs> really long, really old vines. And they tend to get really gnarly and twisted and it produces less fruit and the fruit berries tend to be smaller and a little bit more concentrated of fruit and flavor. Um, very, very cool to have. To be considered ancient um, Zinfandel, then those vines tend to be over a hundred years old, which these guys also have. But uh, today we're going to be talking about the old vine Zinfandel, which is still super old, just 50 years old. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready to try this wine? The answer is yes. The answer is always yes. <laughs> Eighty percent Zinfandel, ten percent Syrah, five percent Petite Syrah, and five percent Cab Sav. This is actually from sixteen different vineyards. It's in Lodi, California, and more so, it's the Mokulumni. Mokulumni. Lodi Mokulumni. Lodi Mokulumni River AVA. Mokulumni River. Cheers. On with the tasting. So what do you feel about that color? Let's say medium plus uh, ruby on the nose. It is about, it actually almost feels a little bit softer than when I first opened it. When I first opened it, it was almost like all the fruit was jumping out. It was like, hey, we're here at the party. Uh, now that I'm smelling it, it's a little bit more refined. They've kind of calmed down a little, but it's about medium plus to pronounce um, intensity in aromatics. So the first thing that I'm actually getting is very ripe raspberry. Um, I'm wondering if it's going into like a black raspberry sort of note, because it just feels very ripe, almost like a strawberry jam, but also very ripe red cherry notes too. There's a little bit of like darkness in there too, kind of like a blueberry note and a little bit of a, like an anise like a little bit of a, a licorice. There's some white pepper, some vanilla, a little bit of a, like a toasty note. Good concentration. Let's taste, guys. Oh, it's so peppery. I'm not necessarily, I am truly. So it's like medium plus to high um, acidity on there. What's the alcohol? I feel like it's very integrated. So alcohol on this is 14.8, but it's so integrated and it's so balanced with that acidity and the concentration of flavors as well. I'm getting a lot of um, like a black plum skin note, but there's that raspberry and blackberry and pepper, lots of pepper. It's very spicy on the palate. So it smelt more red and um, sweet fruit flavors on the nose and then on the palate it's a little bit darker and more spicier it's just really really nice and the tannins i thought that the tannins on this would be a lot firmer like a lot stronger but they're so smooth so velvety as well really really nice really long finish it's still going <laughs> i'm still getting fruit lots of black fruit on there i'm getting a little bit more of like a black cherry note now very, very nice. Very, very cool. For something like this, we could probably pair a uh, stronger sort of flavor type of foods. Red meats, um, some spices. We can go into juicy, roasted, or smoked prime rib. Mm. Some earthy root vegetables. Pork tenderloin, or we could go for smoky bacon. If you want to go into some gamey meats, then we could go into some lamb or otherwise some peppery dishes with some spice, eggplant or earthy mushrooms, um, just like heartier, smokier type of flavors. This is definitely a charcuterie board sort of wine. Some hard cheeses like Pecorino, or you could go for a little bit more pungent st uh, style of cheese like Stilton's. Super, super yum. 25% off six packs for the Clinker Bricks Winery Brick Mason. Visit vinestyles.ca to get the deal. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy and uh, take care. Bye. Take care. See you next video. If you're a nerd like me, I would definitely recommend that you go to their website. There is an abundance, abundance of technical information there.